Hello and welcome to Applications of Management Information System. Applications of MIS ranges from different segments, departments within an organization and each of these applications have different role, different functions which ultimately connect to the main MIS. Beginning with the business intelligence system with advises the business at a strategic level. The top level management has access to this business intelligence system that guides them in a way on what decisions to take. The data points would tell them as uh, the data points were collected through uh, year on year pattern, it would tell them, it would guide them for each product or service that the company offers, what decisions to be taken if they are profitable or making losses. The next one is an executive information system that is at the executive level and it specifically advises them at the executive level on specific strategic partnerships, acquisitions and mergers. So if you have built your management information system with an input that takes into account external conditions, this is where the system guides you the right way. Marketing information system makes all the marketing related data points into inf useful information that can be used to drive the marketing force within the company. And it gives you those insights that customers prefer over the ones which they don't choose. The fourth one is the transaction processing system this is more of an evidence or a flow based system which collects data from the transactions that the organization indulges in be it b2b business to business or business to consumer uh, business to government all these transactions have certain data points that must be recorded and this is where every stage within the transaction is recorded under the transaction processing system. Customer relationship management system. If a customer executes a transaction and buys a product from the MIS interacting on it, what happens with that customer? Do you just end the relationship after the sales or do you connect with them? Do you offer support if they want a refund or return the item? Do you offer them some discounts? How, do you send them customized messages on their birthdays? Do you connect with them? How do you connect with the customer? And how do you take care of your clients matter in this customer relationship management system? So these are the data points that take care of the customer at a holistic level. And it, it takes them, it creates different profiles or categories of the customer so that you can direct one strategy for that one segment and it works well. The next one is the Salesforce automation uh, system. In it, we're talking about when the marketing markets uh, their products and they collect leads. The, the leads are the ones who, which are interested parties that are interested in buying your service or product that you have offered through your marketing channels. How does the Salesforce work with that flow, work with that lead? Everything must be recorded onto the system and this is where Salesforce automation systems ensures that the Salesforce has no problem or issue in operating it. The next one is the human resource management system wherein HR department collects all the data points of all the employees in this management system and uses it for appraisals, for uh, customer retention, uh, employee retention, and even for layoffs. Knowledge management system, which is the knowledge uh, hub for the organization. It is more to do with research and development that is happening within the organization for development of new products, for utilizing the existing product, uh, understanding the customer requirements, competitors, uh, strategies, and using all such information, the knowledge, and man knowledge management system guides you 
to create the new set of products in the organization. Financial accounting system, which is essential to understand where does your company stand today at this stage based on the transactions that you have executed up until this point. So where are you in terms of your balance sheet? How much profit have you made from each product? How much losses have you made? Which product or services needs to be stopped? Financial accounting system guides you in that direction. Supply chain management systems mostly works with the suppliers. How uh, responsive are your suppliers? What are the benefits that you get from each of those suppliers? Which are reliant? Which are the most reliant suppliers? Uh, which are the most responsive? And so on. Information or data storage, which, which is just the database management system within the MIS, it holds on to the information and it gives you that information at the right time whenever you need it. Rolling out new products and services works in tangent with the knowledge management system where the knowledge or the information can be extracted and used to roll out new products or services. Amazon, when it wants to release a new product, for example, Amazon Kindle has different versions. Uh, Samsung Mobiles has different versions. How do they roll out new products and services using the historic information so that they, there is an upgrade to the previous version? Simplified decision making when you have compressed and summarized view of the data points that you have in front of you, it enables you to make simplified decision making. The next one is improving employee behaviors and attitudes. It talks about employee retention rate. How do you engage the employees within an organization? so that you are making sure that they are happy employees because happy employees give you profit makes you revenue and unhappy employees will not here is a case study talking about dell computer corporation and how it utilizes mis to run its operation which is a major manufacturer of personal computers computer peripherals and software among the leading producers of the computers in the world, Dell sells its products directly to customers through the internet and mail order catalogs rather than through retail outlets. So you can have uh, Dell, a completely customized Dell laptop in uh, delivered at your home through an internet or a mail order. You don't have to visit any any retail outlet to buying a Dell. However, it is available over there, but you can connect directly with the Dell and customize your own laptop and get the, the device as per your, your needs. Dell also employs various information processing tools, including computers, the internet, spreadsheets, models, and databases to bring about this change. At the operational level, maps serve as a key tool for decision-making, the aid in choosing uh, data sources, assessing demographics and visualizing information. And finally, maps presented in charts play a vital role in initiating and guiding organizational operations at Dell. So maps is a tool that helps them guide or make important strategic decisions within Dell so that they ensure that they are making profit with such initiatives and not losses. At the tactical level, Dell utilizes databases for processing information, leveraging records to assess strengths and weaknesses and determine organization tactics. For the strategic level, the Internet or World Wide Web serves as the primary tool. So they, they make sure that they utilize World Wide Web in tangent with their internal resources, especially the maps, so that they drive this set of initiatives to understand first what are the best and the worst case scenarios. Finally, it enables Dell to stay informed about industry trends and competitive strategies, facilitating the formulation of effective organizational strategies that benefit them. That's it for now. Thank you.